اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد and continuing from the theme of the last video in which we were discussing books of tafsir i wanted to make a video for the english reading community so here we have two amazing english books written by sheikh asim khan the first book titled by the author as the kingdom of god is actually a commentary of surah al mulk and the second book titled by the author as the heart of the quran is a commentary of surah yasin Now I have used both of these books to deliver a commentary upon these two surahs to a group of students and I actually found them really beneficial. The books are actually full of vibrant colors so if you actually open them loads of colors and diagrams and pictures within the book and they are actually organized really well. So what he does is he takes each surah and he for example here we have surah yasin and he organizes the surah into sections so for example you have section 1 the quran and the heedless section 2 the people of the town section 3 so he's taken surah yasin and he's divided the surah into different sections now within each section as you can see within each section he discusses and explains the meanings of difficult words and sometimes he even presents pictures so for example if we look on page 69 here we have got this actual explanation of where allah ta'ala says wal qamara qaddarnahu manazila hatta aada kal urjun al qadim so he explains how is allah the almighty linking the moon with the different uh, uh, pictures and visuals of the date uh, and the dates and the date stalk so we can see the moon phases are akin to a date stalk and we can see a visual picture of it and that really really helps And now at the end of each each section for example if we look on page 39 here you will see that at the end of each section what the author does and uh, which i really like is that he presents a word bank of all the ambiguous words that have actually come in the surah so we've got muqtamahun khashiya ahsaynahu and then he provides a brief commentary of each word now as you can see the colors are quite brave a, a vibrant and just before the word bank we have a summary or with a visual diagram of the main themes of the verses of that section so the visual diagram in the book is actually really helping us to understand the surah a lot better and how the surah is organized they are really amazing the visual diagrams within the book for example on page 64 here we have this lovely diagram here which shows all the signs that allah the almighty has kept for us in nature and that allah discusses all of these signs within the surah that is surah yasin he does the same at the start of the book as well on page 10 he discusses the main themes of the surah with this lovely diagram here and it's a lovely colorful visual as you can see and this is another unique feature of the book the author's ability to display the beautiful organization of the quran and as we know the quran has been organized in a beautiful way and so the way the author does it is really quite remarkable now what i truly do like about this book is that he actually addresses some questions uh in the book that may come to a reader's mind as he is reading the book for example here on page 35 allah the almighty describes himself as all merciful so then he asks the question which may come across your mind as you are reading the tafsir of the quran why should we fear a merciful allah and the author addresses this question And finally the most important aspect is his sources. Sheikh Asim's sources in the book are actually quite traditional and he goes back to the original sources as much as possible. So he he uses Tafsir At-Tabari, he uses Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, Tafsir Ar-Razi, Tafsir Ibn Kathir and he also refers to the books of the later scholars in Tafsir such as Al-Allama Al-Alusi, Ibn Ashur, Fadl Salih Samurai and many others along with some personal reflections of his own. 
which make this book a really unique book to have. Now, throughout the book, he'll reference the different books that he is mentioning the point from. Although he doesn't mention the page number, I guess that would overly fill the footnotes. But it's really well organized, short and concise, lovely diagrams within it. And this, I have been focusing on Surah Yasin in this video, but Surah Al Mulk is very similar. He looks at these different. Uh, you know, you could say rhetorical devices within the Quran, the structure of the Quran, loads of pictures, loads of personal reflections, diagrams, as you can see, these really help for the visual learners. And Alhamdulillah, this book can be a beneficial source if you are teaching the Quran or if you are actually wanting to learn a little bit about tafsir and about the Quran during this beautiful and holy month of Ramadan. I hope you benefit. I hope inshallah this encourages you to start your journey into understanding Understanding the Quran and if you do then be sure to benefit from these two books as I think you will enjoy them inshallah ta'ala and as always if you do purchase this book and you benefit from it then please don't forget to make dua for me too also if you liked this video and you think that others may benefit from this video too then please do share it give it a like and last but not least please do try to subscribe to our YouTube channel to spread the awareness towards and in Islamic knowledge. Jazakumullahu khaira. Wassalamu alaikum.